Hey everyone and welcome to the first video in a three-part series on inline muzzleloaders. When I drew my first muzzleloader hunt, I didn't know the first thing about inline muzzleloaders. But I learned a lot quickly and was able to tag out on my very first muzzleloader hunt ever. Over this three-part series, I'm going to share with you some things I wish someone would have shared with me before I bought my first inline muzzleloader. I'm hoping to save you a lot of time and money. In this three-part series, we're going to cover the components of a muzzleloader, how to load and shoot a muzzleloader, and finally, how to clean your inline muzzleloader. Let's jump right into it by discussing the components of an inline muzzleloader. We have the stock, the barrel, the ramrod, the breech plug, the firing pin, which is actually hidden from view in this, in this view, and finally, a scope if your state allows it. Some states actually do not allow you to mount a scope on an inline muzzleloader, such as Colorado. So before you spend money on your scope, just be sure that if you're using this inline muzzleloader for hunting, that your state actually allows you to mount a scope on it. Now let's look at this same inline muzzleloader, but disassembled. Again, we have the stock, the barrel, the ramrod, the breech plug, the firing pin, which I've now removed, and the scope. The stock of the muzzleloader is the base of your weapon provides the structural support to your muzzleloader, and it's what the rest of your muzzleloader is mounted to. The barrel is what contains the powder and the round. This is obviously where your load is fired from. The ramrod is used to help load your muzzleloader. With it, you can push your round down to the back end of your barrel. Your ramrod can also be useful for cleaning your muzzleloader, which we're gonna discuss more in the third video in this series. The breech plug is really important. It accepts the primer, and your primer is responsible for initiating the propellant combustion that pushes your projectile out of the barrel. This is also where the firing pin comes into play. When you squeeze the trigger on your muzzleloader, the firing pin hits the primer, which then initiates combustion by igniting the powder in your barrel. What I really wish someone would have told me before I purchased my first muzzleloader would be that I should purchase a muzzleloader that has an easily accessible and easily removable breech plug. And the reason for that is because even after a single shot, this muzzleloader is gonna be extremely dirty. And it's gonna get full of that black powder and it's gonna be in the barrel and it's gonna be all over the components in this section right here, your breech plug, your firing pin and all that other stuff. So the easier that you can get to and remove, this is a brake action muzzleloader, just broke break the action. And the easier I can remove this breech plug, look at that, it's hand tight and I can remove it with my hand on the range while I'm shooting and here while I'm at home cleaning after a big shooting session, I can come back home, easily remove this with my, my hand, and now I have easy access, there's my breech plug, now I have easy access to my barrel. So you'll, I don't know if you can see down the barrel, I'll move it a little bit just so you can kind of see. You're, I have full access all the way through that barrel now. And with that, I can clean this muzzle loader super easy. I can clean my breech plug. It looks very nice right now, but let me tell you, that thing will be completely filthy after a couple of shots on the range, this side and all this side as well. And so the easier you can get to that breech plug and remove it, the easier it's gonna to be to clean that, uh, that muzzle loader, excuse me, muzzle loader. And again, we're gonna cover that more in the third video in this series. We're gonna talk about how to properly clean this weapon. But again, I highly encourage you, do your research, buy a muzzle loader, that has an easily accessible breech plug, it's easily removable, and it's also easy to just install it. The first couple of muzzle loaders that I bought, that I shot, I didn't buy them thankfully, you needed a screwdriver or you needed vice grips just to get the breech plug off, and I'm telling you right now, it was super inconvenient at the range to get your breech plug off, to give your uh, muzzle loader just a, a quick cleaning before you fired off the next couple rounds. So this one here makes it super convenient, super easy to, to load, to clean. And that is just, I'm telling you, it is gonna help you a ton when you're on the range and when you're at home cleaning these muzzle loaders. Again, we'll talk about that more in videos two and three in this series. But for now, those are the components of your inline muzzle loader. Hopefully that sheds some light on an inline muzzle loader for you, what the components are and why you'd want to invest in a weapon that has an easily accessible breech plug. Be sure to let me know what you would like to see in the next two parts in this video series, inline muzzleloaders. 
when we'll be shooting and cleaning our muzzle loader. I'll do everything I can to incorporate your comments when we're out in the field shooting those videos. I wanna thank you for watching today. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, I highly encourage you to do so and I thank you for doing so. When we're not shooting instructional videos, we're either out on the water fishing or we're up in the high country hunting and capturing those stories with film and photography. So until the next video, take care and I'll see you next time.